Hello friends, in today's video, I am going to show you how to make a home assistant just like Alexa and Amazon Echo. You can make it in a very simple way and this is a final product. It is based on two programmings of one of Python and another of Arduino. Let us see how to make it. Okay, so first we have to create a new folder which I am naming it as Jarvis and then just click on shift right click to open Windows PowerShell. Then just press on code space full stop uh, which will automatically open virtual studio code then just type this program you need to import some libraries so, uh, which i'm just showing like pydd sx3 uh, then speech recognition date time uh, i told in my previous video that to install you just have to write pip space install the name of the library then wikipedia web browser os and smtplib there's one more thing which you need to install which is PIP space install PY audio which is very important. So now I, basically I'm just starting the engine uh, for the uh, computer to speak uh, uh, whatever I tell it. Uh, then just write this code. This three lines will make it speak whatever I tell. Then I'm creating a method known as speak uh, which will receive uh, a variable text. and engine dot say text and engine run and wait will speak the text so now i will just print initial initializing jar jarvis and speak it uh, you need to put a semicolon after everyone and then i'm just calling the main method initializing jarvis so it runs successfully so now we'll go ahead now i create another method known as wish me so I want Jarvis to wish me whenever I tell him to do something. So this line will store the hour of the day in a variable known as R. Now if it is greater than 0 and less than 12, I want to wish it good morning and I have to, to say master, which I'll define it as past, path master. You can say your name for obvious. Now if hours is greater than 12 and 18, between 18, so it will wish me good afternoon else it will wish me good morning a good evening uh, for else if you can also write elif it means the same so now i'll in the end i'll make it speak i am javis and how may i help you now i'll define the main part of it which by which it will take the commands which i'll tell him uh, r equal to sr dot recognizer uh, is the basic thing required and the next line is a loop in which microphone as source will be the it will tell that microphone is the source uh, then it will print listening and just as uh, send a message after beep it will just speak beep then audio will be then audio will be the whatever i speak then it will try to recognize the audio uh, which language i am telling it as english dash of us you can also use English dash IN and then it will just print uh, a F string is important which I have written as a small f then whatever I have said I wanted to print that and slash n to go to a new line okay so now what if it does not recognize so in case of an exception which I will accept exception uh, it should what it should do it should print that say that again please or please say that again and i also wanted to say one job is to say that so i'll type speak say that again please that was an error by mistake something was typed after that line so it did not work so now I'll move ahead and I obviously have to uh, call this method known as take command in the my main method. So now if there's an error, it will not repeat it. So I'll create an infinite loop where in the starting the query which contains the data which I'm putting, uh, which I'm speaking, it will be none in the starting. And then I'm saying whenever it is none, it should continuously take data. And in case of an exception, the query still continues to remain none. I'll show you all the, the running of the entire program together at the end. 
so now i'm just typing a wikipedia in single quotes is in query so first to convert the query into lower quiz which is query equals to query dot lower then i wanted to speak that okay i am searching in wikipedia so now obviously i don't want to search the word wikipedia in wikipedia so i'll just replace wikipedia with a blank and the results uh, i want to store in the variable results which is wikipedia dot summary of the query which is the question of and sentence will be two then I, it will print and speak the results now if youtube is in query uh, i'll just open the url which is youtube.com but are running this it is showing an error so i'll basically give the path of my browser which which i'll uh, write in chrome underscore path so now what i'll do i'll just find the location of the chrome i'll copy its path and i'll paste it in the variable known as chrome path and i'll replace all the black backslashes with normal slashes in the end i'll add chrome.ext and percentage s it is very important now web browser dot get chrome part dot open url youtube dot com now when i will run it utilizing jarvis new part master i am jarvis how may i help you open youtube okay so it has successfully recognized my what i have said now let's see Okay, so it has successfully opened YouTube in Google Chrome. Yeah, YouTube is open. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share my videos. These are my videos so far uploaded. Okay, so now let's move ahead. I am writing elif for each case, which means else if. So now if time is in query. Or query is the sentence which I am saying. So uh, I am writing this line, which will get the time, uh, current time, which is hours, minutes, and seconds, and it will speak this time. So now, if Google is in query, so I wanted to speak that master, what would, you, what do you want to search? Now I'll again write the entire thing to get the another query. Just like I have done above, I'll just copy that entire part and paste it again. So, and I'm replacing all the variable as two to avoid any confusion. Like, so in query two, the it will contain the second variable, which is there. One second, this error. There's some error with R two. Okay, I'll just write R. Still, there's some error. Okay, I got it. There was no space after the while loop, which is obviously required. So now I'll replace the all the spaces with plus sign. The reason is that first I'll go to Google.com to show you. When I search something like one, two, three, uh, it, it, there's some weird characters, and in between at two places, one, two, three has been printed. So if I just replace the tool plus kit, it will uh, search for tool space kit. So basically, my query has to be will contain the space which are to be replaced by plus marks. And whatever I did in Chrome, I'll just copy it down over there, the Chrome path and all. So I'll just copy this weird link, and I'll find the two places. Yeah, here they are. So instead of this word toolkit, I will just write the my what I have to search, which is query two plus query two plus this. And then again, replace tool get by query two. Okay, so now we move ahead. Now, if elif timer is in query, in query you have to write then put a colon. Then I wanted to speak master for how much time do do you want to set like? So now again, obviously, I have to copy this query part if I want to uh, get in, get my voice read by the Python program. So now I'll just initialize a string time one as blank. Then for i in query two, that means for each character named as i in query two, if that character is a digit like one, two, three, four, 
so time one will be time one plus i. So basically, I'll get the number stored in time one in the form of a string, and time two will be the integer form of that. So if it, if I'm saying that 10 seconds, so 10 will be stored in time two. So now if minutes or minute is in query two, then it will speak. Your time starts now. That means if I'm saying for 10 minutes or 10 seconds, it does make a difference. I'll improve two more libraries, time and serial. I'll talk about serial later. So time dot sleep, uh, the data to be inputted is in seconds. So 16 to time two. So time two, if I'm saying one minute, it's obviously 60 seconds. So now else if uh, in short minutes, now I'll write for seconds or second. So it will be same, but just it will be just time two. And then in the end, it will speak the time is up, master. And same in the case of seconds. Now, else, if none of them, if like I have not said minutes or seconds, so I wanted to speak that no timer was set. Actually, this is showing an error. So just remove the or minutes or seconds one part. Just write minutes and seconds. That's creating a vision. Now write this thing Arduino serial is equal to serial dot capital S serial uh, in which port just keep it blank for now. I'll tell you later. And the baud rate keep it 9600. This is to get data from the Arduino serial port time dot sleep keep it one second over here to establish the connections and the main method I wanted to run continuously so the best option is to keep an infinite loop so while true which is an infinite loop incoming is a variable which I'm initializing which will get the data from Arduino which is the variable Arduino serial dot read line which will read the data so now if yes uh, basically I'll pass two variables yes and no so if yes is incoming so I want it to first wish me and then take the command and move ahead okay so now just open chrome and go to this website arduino.cc uh, this is the official website of arduino from here you can buy arduino boards uh, and you can also install apps it's for linux mac os and also for windows now just open arduino software and just write this program. I'm initializing two variables. This is very similar to BlueJ, the syntax of this S1 and S2. Then void setup is a loop required, uh, basically a method required to initialize the pins. I'll tell you uh, more about pins later. Uh, then I'll write serial dot begin at the baud rate of 9600, which is required to establish communications between Arduino and the serial. So basically Arduino is sending data to serial and uh, Python is receiving data from serial. So int state is equal to digital uh, write to that means it will read the data. Uh, it will read the data from pin number two and store it in state. So now if state is high, so S1 will be first one uh, and if it is low, that means the switch is on. So it will be one and if switch is off, it will be zero. Now I'll do it again uh, as I want to compare two simultaneous datas and for the same I'm doing it second one so now if uh, second one is different from first one and second one is uh, like switch is on so I wanted to print yes and if it is off I have to print it no similarly I'll do it for the first one uh, I'm going to up uh, upload this to Arduino Uno uh, this is a mistake it should be digital read because I'm reading data this is the circuit diagram connected to the wireless transmitter receiver switch and Arduino Uno Okay, so now basically we'll require a few connecting wires, soldering station. Uh, this is the wireless uh, tra transmitter. First, I'm connecting the power cable uh, with the old mobile adapter. You can use any mobile adapter between the volt, which is giving the voltage of 5 volt to 9 volt DC. So now just connect the wires positive to positive, negative to negative. Now just tape the wires.
so now arduino has various pins and uh, in our entire program we had used pin number 2 to read the data so it will basically read the data from the receiver first i am connecting the win and the ground which is the power supply given by arduino to the transmitter by which with the transmitters get power and i am connecting it to uh, the d3 terminal of the uh, receiver with which it will get the data from there now uh, this is a 6 pin switch just solder it on the P, uh, blank PCB that's a bit difficult task as the pins are very close to each other ok so now I have soldered 3 wires black, yellow and brown so basically there are two cases uh, if the uh, connections are sorted so the multimeter will give a value so black and yellow are originally sorted from inside so it's giving a value whereas yellow and grey are not sorted so it's not giving any value so the circuit between the terminals yellow and grey is open by default and between yellow and black is closed by default by default I have to set the data no so this is a ice cream box which I have taken uh, in which I'll fix the circuit, I'll glue it up, yeah, and I was saying that if I want to send the data by default, no. So, I'll send a negative current, I'll transmit a negative data, and if I want to send positive one, so I'll transmit the positive data, which is to the positive terminal, to the D3 data pin. Now, I'll just glue this circuit from inside. Also, we have to glue the transmitter, as you want to keep it hidden. Uh, also create a hole for the power cable huh. now then now you have to connect the yellow wire which is the central wire to the D3 pin uh, it may be different for different transmitters as you are using in mine it is named D0 to D3 then connect the black one to the negative one and grey one to the positive one so whenever the switch is pressed the circuit will transmit positive data and it is receiving power so now I am just placing the speaker inside it marking the speaker and now I will just create a hole a little broader but lesser in height than the speaker so now with, because of this the volume will come out and our box is ready this is a bluetooth speaker which I am going to use so now let's upload this Arduino code First, you right click on my computer and go to manage then in device manager you can find in the ports you will find various things uh, whereas uh, USB serial driver which is our Arduino is on COM3 so use COM3 only if you select any other option it will show an error now just upload the program so it is uploaded successfully in, even in Python now just open back the Visual Studio Code Now I'll connect the Bluetooth speaker It's connected Ok so now uh, in this Python program the port which had kept empty just set it COM3 uh, I have also given a command for no to do nothing and it will just print no and, if, and be careful of the case if yes you keep fine smaller case and there you have kept it capitals it will not work properly so now let's test utilizing Jarvis me part master I am Jarvis how may I help you hey Jarvis what is the time right now then again please hey Jarvis what is the time right now Master, the time is 18 hours 5 minutes and 56 seconds. So the test for time was successful. Now let us check for Google. New Park Master. Jarvis, how may I help you? Hey Jarvis, can you please search something for me on Google? Through what do you want to search? Who is Iron Man? That again, please. Jarvis, can you please search that who is Iron Man? Okay, so it has recognized my voice and it's opening Google automatically. So it works great. 
Evening Park Master. Jarvis, how may I help you? Jarvis, can you please set a timer for me? Park Master, for how much time do you want to set? Beep. Jarvis, please set a timer for 10 seconds. And again, please. Jarvis, can you please set a timer for 10 seconds? Okay, your time starts now. Okay, so now let's wait for 10 seconds. The hand count is wrong, as you can see in the machine count. And it should speak by now. Miza, Park Master. Evening Park Master. Jarvis, how may I help you? Beep. Hey Jarvis, can you please open YouTube for me? Okay, so now it has successfully opened YouTube and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share this video. Now let's go ahead with the Wikipedia test. Evening Park Master. Jarvis, how may I help you? Can you please tell me who is Iron Man Wikipedia? I am searching in Wikipedia. Man is a fictional superhero appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. The character was co-created by writer and editor Stan Lee, developed by scripter Larry Lieber, and designed by artists Don Heck and Jack Kirby. Please like and share this video and subscribe my channel. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.